So there's our stove. It is, um, okay, that's something. Ah, the flame was still on. Okay. Now it seems like we used up all the gas that was stored in that little thing there. So it's about water pressure now. We'll pilfer this aluminum foil. Come on, you know you aren't recycling this. You'd be throwing this stuff away, right? But I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to try to figure out how to make it into a hydrogen generator. I'm making these sandwiches of aluminum foil and paper towel. And then we'll wet them and put the sodium hydroxide on them. It up and crush it like so, so that I can try to fit it inside the pill bottle and assumedly the paper towel will keep the uh, will keep the sodium hydroxide next to the aluminum in the sandwich and that uh, increases the surface area which should make the reaction proceed a lot faster it occur quite quickly so I may have to put the camera down but uh, we'll see what happens. You put that in, and let's see. No, it looks like we're okay for now. And now it's the reaction is starting, so I'm gonna quickly let's see how hot it gets. And if we start seeing bubbling going in here. Nothing yet. So now we see the hydrogen bubbling up now through. I like to put a little bit of water in the pipe so I can see the rate of production. And this is rather hot. And it's slowly going into the container. I've opened this valve, which lets water trickle out here. And the hydrogen is beginning to build up in this region and this region. So we'll see how long it lasts. The temperature of the bottle is 50... 54... 58 degrees. It's getting very hot. And that may deform. Well, it's not deforming the plastic. Seems like a cool wind is keeping that from being a problem. We're still getting somewhat vigorous bubbling. Like that. Temperature there is okay. It's 19, 23. Temperature there is okay. Temperature there is okay. The bottle is still in the 50s. That the hydrogen is creating overpressure is no doubt because this tube here is 
coming from about down down here and the hydrogen pressure up here is pushing water up and over and down so that's showing some of the some of the pressure that's being generated by this setup and by letting the hydrogen displace the water then we also create a negative pressure that pulls the hydrogen into the storage chamber. The reaction chamber now is 65 degrees, so it does get very, very hot. Wow. So we're definitely displacing a lot of water, and the reaction is very, very vigorous now. I uh, hesitate to see what the temperature is. No, it's not so bad. Still at 60 degrees, but uh, really energetic now. Really just shooting the hydrogen in there, and uh, we're really getting quite a bit from just that little amount of dinner foil. We're talking about, this has got to be about 20 liters by this point. This whole thing is 100, so 20, 40, 60, 80, no, it's 10 liters, I guess. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, yeah, that's about um, 10 liters so far of, of hydrogen. It's a lot of hydrogen from a little bit of aluminum foil. It's okay there, 59 degrees. The rate of hydrogen production is extraordinary. very fast. And all coming from this tiny little uh, pill bottle. So no question that this is a feasible way of producing useful quantities of energy. The mechanics of it, the storage, the plumbing, safety are the things that need to be worked out. But there's, I don't think any question that if this is just one little dinner plate's worth of aluminum and it's creating that much useful hydrogen, it's quite a bit. We're not done yet. <laughs>